Hello all dear friends. In this video we will talk about how storm shadow missiles are radically changing the disposition of the war, giving Ukraine a strategic advantage in the range of missile strikes against the Russian rear. The storm shadow missiles have become a new breakthrough weapon for the Ukrainian army. They have allowed Ukraine to reach targets deep behind the Russian forces, the agency writes. Since May 12, Russian media have reported on the Ukrainian armed forces strikes on the occupiers' facilities in Luhansk, which is in the rear of the Russian army. Prior to that, there had been no shelling of the city since last July. The Ukrainian armed forces began striking the facilities in the city after the supply of British high-range storm shadow missiles. It became known on May 11 that Britain had agreed to transfer storm shadow missiles to Ukraine. As CNN reported, they have already been delivered. British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace confirmed London's decision to supply storm shadow missiles, but did not specify whether the missiles had already been transferred. On May 12, Russian sources reported the shelling of Luhansk, which is more than 80 kilometers from the front line, including media reports that State Duma Deputy Vodolatsky was injured in the strike, as well as a fire at the Polypak Polymer Products Plant. Vodolatsky claimed the next day that brickwork collapsed on him as he was helping people out from under the rubble. Initially, state media claimed that the shelling was carried out by the Ukrainian Grom complex. The next day, however, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a daily bulletin that British missiles had struck. Russian media published pictures of the wreckage of the missile marked Storm Shadow. On Saturday and Monday morning, the occupiers' facilities in Luhansk were shelled again. In both cases, local authorities claimed that the strikes were carried out by British missiles. Russian media reported that on Saturday rockets hit the old building of the Luhansk Academy of Internal Affairs, which had housed the military since 2015. On Monday, the buildings of the barracks on the territory of the former Aviation School of Navigators were hit. Kiev did not talk about storm shadow strikes on facilities in Luhansk. According to Ruslan Leviev, founder of the Conflit intelligence team, on the Michael Nucky channel, there is no doubt that the strikes were carried out using British missiles. Until last week, Luhansk was deep in the rear and not subject to shelling. The last time strikes on the city were reported was in July of last year, shortly after the end of fighting for Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. The British missiles are not the first Western weapon to make a difference on the front. After the delivery of HIMARS, the Ukrainian army was able to start regularly striking critical facilities behind Russian lines, such as command posts and weapons depots, which forced Russia to locate depots at a greater distance from the front. After receiving the U.S. Patriot Air Defense System, the AFU was able to shoot down a Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile for the first time. Storm Shadow missiles have a range of over 250 kilometers. This, among other things, may allow the Ukrainian army to strike targets near Sevastopol and the Crimean Bridge. According to CNN, British authorities received guarantees from Kiev that the missiles would not be used on Russian territory. The UK has always considered the occupied Crimea and Ordlo as Ukraine's territory.